Alrighty, so the fabled producer's letter for May is finally here. Uh, there's going to be some actual news in this, so we're going to be covering this, because usually I wouldn't cover a producer's letter, but in this case we will be kind of looking at this, uh, reading it, and then kind of going over my thoughts on the whole thing as a whole. So, uh, let me know down below real quick before we get into it, what do you guys think? Are you excited for this? Uh, and there's going to be ninth anniversary news in this video, so we can at least talk about that. So, now, <laughs> you know, we've been talking about saving it for it for months, but now the devs have addressed it, right? Like, it's like, yo, the ninth anniversary is coming, so here is your, here is even more uh, of a reason to start, you know, if you haven't started saving, you need to start saving, because now even the devs are talking about it, right? So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, hello, this is the Dokkan Battle International Version Operation Team. Lots of characters from the Majin Buu Saga category have arrived in May. What are your thoughts? I thought the Majin Buu Saga characters were very well done. There are also many ongoing events related to the Majin Buu Saga, so make sure you try it, try them if you haven't yet. Now, this month's letters from the producer. Right. Uh, the events I thought were really good. Uh, the Majin Buu Saga Red Zone brought a lot of new, unique gimmicks to the table that a lot of fights in the game previously have not brought. So, you know, really cool stuff, and I'm hoping that these Red Zones in the future, especially for like the 10th Annie or even uh, the Worldwide Download Celebration, will be doing the same thing. Now. A Dokkan Festival is coming soon. A Dokkan Festival will be on from May 30th. Uh, they don't really have a time. I don't know why they said PST. Um, here is one of the new characters. Beautiful Final View, Frieza First Form. There is the Dokkan Awakened art for the TUR. A very nice character, but... I don't know if you guys know this, but... Skip. 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 Don't even think about it. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. I'm looking at you. You, who's looking at your phone? Who's looking at your PC screen right now? You might be looking at another monitor. You. Don't summon. Don't summon. Okay? Don't summon. Alright. So, the image is the character's form after Dokkan Awakening. Recruit Frieza, first form, and feel the power of its planet-destroying blow. And that, no thank you. Uh, the high difficulty event, Fighting Legend Frieza, is coming soon, so the Legendary Frieza event. A new high difficulty event, Fighting Legend Frieza, will be available. The stage will become more difficult as Frieza's form changes with each phase. By clearing the missions, you can get powerful EX skill orbs that can be equipped to characters whose name include Frieza, Frieza Soldier excluded. Challenge Frieza, who will reveal the extent of his power <laughs> through his transformations. I don't know why it says it's. Um, <laughs> it's like it's one person. Well, I guess, I guess Frieza identifies as it. Um, Fighting Legend Frieza. Uh, we have many more events in the works, I would hope so. We'll reveal more details soon through in-game announcements. This could be something more to do with the ninth anniversary. So, <clears throat> moving on to the next page. Let's see what we got here. The big stuff, what you guys are excited about. Introducing characters featured during the ninth anniversary. The ninth anniversary campaign is finally starting in July. Hallelujah. The two characters that fought a fierce battle in the Dragon Ball Super Super Broly movie will show up. Uh, here are the characters that will arrive in part one of the ninth anniversary. Woohoo! Scattered reflection of overflowing fighting spirit, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and surge of heightened fighting spirit. So they both have fighting spirit. And then here are the active skill forms of Gogeta Blue and Broly. Now, they haven't, they don't mention <laughs> during part two that it's going to be Beast Gohan. Now, with part one of this anniversary, I recommend that you tread lightly, right? You, obviously, if you're going to pick one of the characters to go after, it, it, and if you are going from a neutral standpoint, you like you like both characters the same, go for Gogeta, because he's going to be better on the superheroes team than Broly, but Broly does have a decent leader skill as well, so if you're one of those guys that, you know, is telling me in the comments you have like 8,000 stones or 4,000 stones or whatever, maybe toss a little bit at each one, but just make sure that the bulk of your stones is going towards part two. But you guys can see here, Broly and Gogeta are on the way for global, as we already knew. <laughs> Nothing that we don't know, but it is fun to talk about. The ninth anniversary countdown event is coming soon. The ninth anniversary campaign is finally starting in July. We already said that. This year, too, in, er in even Wow, I can't talk. In order to boost it even further, the countdown campaign will start in June. Uh, ninth anniversary ultimate countdown missions on May 31st PST again no time uh, missions that allow you to get celebration summon tickets for the ninth anniversary will be added C aim to clear all the missions and get ready for the eighth ninth anniversary celebration now let's see let's see let's see okay so th I think the missions are more important this one is more just telling you that you could purchase uh, I guess one thing that will note that you could notice if you are someone who's interested in these packs, I don't recommend that you do buy them, but the summon tickets will give you a chance to recruit new characters. So at least if you are going to purchase these, then just know you will be getting tickets for the ninth anniversary characters. But we're not going to really cover this too much. I don't think that, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you to spend money. So uh, moving off from that. Uh, now, this is what I think is interesting. And we can actually talk about for this for the bulk of the video, in my opinion. Uh, this is going to be the Q&A from the depths. Um, here we go. 
Thank you for all the questions you sent us in the Q&A event we held the other day. We have picked a few of them to reply to. So obviously, you know, the softballs, if you will. <laughs> Please give us info on how the operation schedule unification timing will be handled. This was, I uploaded a video on this yesterday. Um, we're planning to release information on the operation schedule unification timing during the ninth anniversary campaign. We appreciate your patience in this matter. So there you go. During the ninth anniversary, hopefully they are giving us some transparency of what's going to be happening because we are getting close to that point where it's like, okay, where's the sink, guys? Like, and at least now they are giving us something. Uh, it, it might not be the biggest thing in the world, but at least it is something, right? We can talk about it. And now we do know that it's like they are at least acknowledging that the sink, they haven't really talked about it right now. And like saying we appreciate your patience is, you know, just kind of telling us what we want to hear, but it is at least something to build with. So. How long does it take for an LR character to be created? Uh, I thought this was interesting because I already read this before I started recording. Uh, it depends on the character, but in the case of char characters featured in an anniversary campaign or other big campaigns worldwide, Tinabata, uh, it takes about eight months. Wow, eight months. So I was thinking about this, right? So it's like, <laughs> how does it feel from the team where it's like an LR that you know people aren't really going to be too excited for, like LR Rebrian, <laughs> like, and you have to work on that for like six to seven months? Like, oh man, that's that's tough, but. Uh, I think that's cool. Eight months. That's that's a long process. And you guys got to remember, like, the quality of these animations, the amount of animations, like, you know, they're, they're, they're not just downloading videos and putting them up. You know, it's like this is a lot of stuff. But eight months, that's that's a decent amount of dev time being, uh, you know, handled for a character, especially in a game like this where we have to have like releases like that. Like how many releases happen at eight months? Right. A lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot. So that is pretty cool. I think eight months is a. I don't really have any thoughts on that answer. I just was kind of surprised by how, how much it was. So that's pretty cool. Uh, any chance we can get more Dokkan original characters similar to LR Super Saiyan Trunks uh, and Super Saiyan Broly? Well, uh, we already know that we've gotten more because we have characters like Goku and Hit working together. We have characters like uh, Goku and Gohan working together during the Cell games. So that is pretty cool. But in general, we create characters that are centered around the anime for Dokkan Battle. But we might consider Dokkan Battle original characters in the future. If there's a specific character combination you'd like to see, please let us know in a comment. Uh, double Broly, like the comment said, Gogeta Vegeta would be very cool. Uh, Future Gohan and Blue Goku that is uh, inspired from Xenoverse would be really nice. A uh, whole bunch, like I think our, I think I said Double Broly, uh, Gohan and Future Gohan would be pretty cool. Uh, what else? <laughs> There's a whole bunch, right? Maybe we could do a whole video on that. But um... Question four, do you have any plans to continue the game post 10th anniversary? I would hope so. Uh, yes, we are planning to continue after the 10th anniversary. We are also planning various improvements to make the game even more enjoyable. So we hope you look forward to them. Uh, not much to work off there, but again, the 10th anniversary felt pretty concrete at this point. Uh, if the game was shutting down, we would not be unifying in the summer because there would not be any point for them to unify for like three months and then just be like, okay, we hope you enjoyed playing Dokkan Battle, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even read the bottom. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's just like they sink for a month and like, all right, we're done. But obviously not the case. 10 years. Hopefully 11, hopefully 12, hopefully 13, and uh, we can continue to play this game and enjoy it all together. So let me know down below what you guys think of this producer's letter. Uh, not the most groundbreaking information, a lot of stuff we already knew, but at least it is something to cover and talk about. At least, And also the ninth anniversary news with the potential sync in uh, announcement is going to be pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my Dokkan content. That's all I got for you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.